Thank you for watching this video. I know it's going to help your game. Remember to comment on the videos, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to watch for new Malaska Golf videos coming your way. This question comes to us from Farion Halalabadi. And it's, I mean, we always get good questions, but this one I picked particularly because this is one of the reasons that I went from playing golf where it was really easy. This made it really hard. One of the, one of the things. So I want to address it because a lot of the concepts out there and what you're supposed to do in your swing and what you actually need to do aren't even close. Okay, so I came out of this game. And the question's about your left wrist and how it works. So I came out of this game where you hit a baseball. So here comes the baseball and you go wham and you hit it. Your palms are like this, palm down, palm up, but this wrist is fairly flat. Now, after you hit a baseball, as the bat goes past, here's what happens. If you watch what my left wrist does, so as the bat goes past, if you hold on to the bat and you let the bat go around, you see what my left wrist is doing. I'll turn so you can see it more on this angle. Okay, what your left wrist doesn't do is it doesn't do this. That doesn't happen in baseball. Okay, it doesn't happen in a lot of other sports. So when I hit a golf ball, it was like a low outside pitch in baseball. So I was here, I hit the ball. Now, yeah, this was fairly flat. It wasn't parent pointing at the target because I was hitting more with this part of my left hand, but I hit and that stayed fairly flat to there. But what happened is I went over here my left wrist then worked the same way as it worked in baseball. And I got really good with that really fast. And then I started taking lessons and the guy took a video of my swing and says, oh man, shut face, throw, flippy release, we gotta get rid of that. So then they changed my grip and then here was the concept. You hit the ball, then after you hit the ball, you rotate your left forearm and your left wrist, you keep it flat and you turn this over like that. So you're turning this palm up. Well, I can tell you from that point on, the rest of my career, I never was as good as I was at 18, 19, and 20 when I was winning everything and when golf was really easy. Now, I'm almost back to that now at 69 years old. I'm a better ball striker now than I was and more consistent than I was through my whole professional career. Why? because I understand how this works and it's like all the other sports. And so now I have control of the face. So back to your answer, this left wrist, it goes back, it hits. And then as it hits the club, then you hit the club straightens your arms. And then as your is, as this arm starts to fold up and your wrist work, then your left wrist is going that way. So you can see what's happening here. My left arm's folding and my wrist is going this way. See what the face is doing. What's not happening is hit and turning the face over that way. So I hope that answers your question. And believe me, we got to visit this because hand action, if you want to call it release, call it whatever you want, but hand action and how those hands work through the ball relative to the club face either makes this game as easy as it can possibly be, or pretty much impossible for most people to get really good at it. Other than that, it's not a big deal. I was just in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and I had a lot of guys come up to me and tell me exactly how much the M system has helped them with their games. You have an opportunity through Black